Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you some swatches of the latest collection from Sleek. I am a little bit slow on the bandwagon, my apologies, but they were a little bit slow in sending it to me. <laughs> because as you guys know, I am on the Sleek's, uh, Sleek Makeup's PR list and they do send me their latest collections, but they forgot this time. <laughs> so I had to wait a little while. But their collection is this one here called the Diamond Decade Collection. It's limited edition because it is to celebrate 10 years of Sleek. You know what? I'm so ignorant. I thought that Sleek had been around for I don't know how long because I've always been aware of Sleek and... I suppose in my teenage years, I never really used to wear that much makeup, so I wasn't aware of all the big, all the brands out there. I just knew the obvious ones like L'Oreal and Revlon, you know, the ones that have been around since like your mom's time, those sort of makeups, uh, makeups, makeup brands. Um, but yeah, they're, they're celebrating 10 years, which is amazing. Sleek is one of my favorite drugstore brands. Um, notwithstanding the fact that I am on their PR list even before they added me to their list that was the reason they added me to their list is because of the fact that I'm such a big fan of theirs and I've always recommended those them to people Sleek started off as a brand geared towards women of color in a time especially 10 years ago where there wasn't that much there was like three shades of foundation three shades of white basically and women of color were always kind of shoved to the side and um even though I'm not really dark I'm still brown I'm just a certain shade of brown and um, Sleek was one of those brands which always appealed to me as well. One of the problems that women have, especially women who are a lot darker than me, is that certain colours just don't even show up on them. Like they'll apply it to their face and it just melts and blends into their skin colour and their skin colour just eats it up. So Sleek has been one of those ones that has really, really strong pigmented blushes, eyeshadows, lipsticks that stand out and complement women of colour's skin tones. So anyway, so they decided to do this very short, uh, small collection just to celebrate. We've been here 10 years, guys, and we want to celebrate. So they released an eyeshadow palette as well as a lipstick, which is somewhere here. Oh, it's on my face. <laughs> it's this one here, which is a bright hot pink called uh, Dream Decade, which is one of their Lip VIP lipsticks. It's a semi-matte lipstick, so it's got a slight gloss to it, which I love. This is what the packaging looks like for the actual... Um, eyeshadow palette which has got a balloon with a sparkly tin cute and then this is their eyeshadow palette in the standard matte black packaging there aren't any names on here because normally sleek's eyeshadows have got names so i won't, won't be able to actually give you their names i'm just gonna have to show you swatches but this is what the actual palette looks like it's got the standard 10 eyeshadows a mixture of mattes and shimmers and metallic shades so let me show you up close this is what it looks like it's beautiful i personally love this palette i've worn it quite a few times the pink eyeshadow that you can see i'm wearing is this pink eyeshadow right here on my lower lash line i'm wearing this pink eyeshadow right here the inner corner highlight you can see is this silver shade on my brow bone is this uh, baby pink frosty shade and I have used a couple of the darker shades as well. Now pinks go really beautifully with greys and blacks and silvers which is why I'm really happy that they've done this kind of palette. Maybe I would have liked maybe an equal mix of the pinks and the greys and silvers but as you can see they've kind of been grouped into areas of four so there's four very dark shades here then there's the more grey silvery shades here and then the pinker shades here. So it's just about mixing and matching. The quality of these is a 10 out of 10. They're excellent. They blend beautifully. They're super pigmented. There's no patchiness. There's a little bit of fallout as to be expected, but that's why you tap off your brush, girls. And what else can I say? I'm genuinely really happy with this palette. So by all means, I would personally really recommend it. I think it's gorgeous. You can come out with so many different looks and or you can also do what I did and use it with something else. I'm using on my eyelid is a glitter from the brand Iconic and the glitter is called Mermaid's Kiss and I will link below where you can get it. Soon you'll be able to get these glitters on boohoo.com as well as River Island as well. Cut break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you swatches. As I said, because I can't give you their names, I'm just going to um, kind of, what I'll do is to make it easier, I'll do it in the groups of four, four and four. So this shade here first, so this one is like a gunmetal dark grey satin shade. This shade here, 
very similar to the shade next to it but it's got silver sparkles in it then this shade on the bottom this one is a very buttery feeling um, dark silver shade with lots of shimmer to it and this shade here which is a standard matte dark grey shade all right so next we're going to move on to the other four so this shade right here this one I'm sure you've already guessed from seeing it on my tear duct is the most intense shade in the entire palette it is a bright bright silver shade it's actually one of those ones where you've got to be really careful otherwise it gets everywhere even I've worn it on the lid and when I started blending it out I was like oh my god this silver getting in other places you've got to be so careful so this is the next shade so this is like a metallic a gun metal color gorgeous and this shade here this one is another intense silver but as you can see it's slightly darker than the one ne next to it but it's still very very intense right i seem to i should have done my swatches just in rows why have i done it like this because now i'm all confused with how i've shown them and applied them to my anyway this shade here this is another kind of silver but again it's not as intense as these two so it's a more muted version of the above one so last but not least i'm going to show you the pink ones first one is this one here and this one is a gorgeous soft baby pink frosty shade i use it on my brow burnt and tear ducts a lot then this sh shade underneath it's kind of on the side of my hand it's a matte muted hot pink then this shade here this one is a matte hot pink it's what i'm wearing on my low lash line and yes it is the kind of shade to stain your eyes so make sure you clean it off properly and last but not least is this shade in the corner run out of hand space here it is here it's a very girly soft metallic type of pink it's not too intense it's more of a satin finish and that's why i actually wore on my lid sorry i'm like cleaning my hands now that's why i actually wore on my lid underneath the glitter because sometimes i find with glitter um it doesn't cover your eyes completely sometimes you can leave patches by accident so it's nice to have like a base shade underneath and that's why i used this so overall i'm really happy with this palette look at all the shades they're amazing they're very very intense and very pigmented and for a drugstore product you can't go wrong really like genuinely really really happy with this and the next thing i'm going to show you is the one lipstick that comes with it which is called again i've forgotten dream decade love it it's full on it's intense feels gorgeous on the lips good quality nice semi matte as it says i would say it's not even semi matte i'd say it's a quite a glossy lipstick because it is one of those ones that comes off obviously if you kiss if you eat if you drink if you that sort of thing so you do have to top it up but it's not a liquid lipstick but overall i'm really happy with this i do have to say that this is the kind of lipstick that will go with all skin tones medium skin tone here dark skin tones that will look amazing uh, um, fair skin tones it may be slightly overpowering but it depends on how you apply it you can always blot it to tone down that intensity if you like or it's up to you at the end of the day no matter what skin color you are it's all down to personal preference on what you like rather than what other people like or what society says is acceptable that's why I say when it comes to all kinds of makeup to be honest but generally really happy with this collection and I love it so I hope you guys enjoyed this review along with swatches. I need to go wash my hands now. And um, So I hope you guys are great and wonderful. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you've picked this up, you can buy it in Superdrug. You can buy it uh, from Sleek Direct as well. It is limited edition, but their limited editions normally last a little bit of time. So you have got a bit of time. Um, or if you're impatient like me, just I will link it below so you guys can buy it if you like. So thank you so much for watching again. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.